guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a another nail video i have not done my nails in a long time a very long time and today i'm not even doing my actual nails i'm going to be making some press-ons i'm going to show you guys how i make my own press-on nails and as you guys saw in the little intro i'm going to be doing a tortoise shell nail design which is super easy and i loved 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 the way that this came out so i'm excited to show you guys so for my press-on nails i'm actually going to be doing a set of 20 because half of them are going to be the tortoise design and half of them are going to be a solid green color and then you can kind of like mix and match with how you apply them to come up with your own pattern so for the nails i'm going to be using the short stiletto natural full coverage tips from a prey a prey has definitely become one of my favorite nail brands as far as nail tips and also their products are really good too but i usually only use a prey tips whether i'm doing press on nails or if i'm doing actual gel extensions on my nails i always use these so and if you're watching this video right now i can only assume that you love nails in some sort of capacity and i just want to let you guys know that i am working on a little something a little project so if you're not following my nail page on instagram called galaxy nails make sure you give me a follow so you can stay up to date because i will be launching something very soon and i'm very excited and maybe you guys might get the chance to wear this set that i'm making right now I don't know, we'll find out. But definitely follow my Instagram page to keep up with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and file all the nails and make sure they're smooth and make sure I've removed the little tab that's usually at the tip of the nails. And I'm also gonna buff the nails to remove the shine and then just dust away all those little dust particles before I start painting. And I do want to thank Madam Glam for sending me these polishes that I used in today's video. I specifically chose these colors because I knew I wanted to do this tortoiseshell design. And these colors ended up working out so well with the design, so I was really happy about that. So of course, I have a top coat and a base coat. And here are the three colors that I chose. They all are very translucent, which is really good for this sort of design because a tortoise shell design requires a lot of layering in order to get the effect that you want. So the first color I have is this peachy nude color. It is called Dove, and I thought this would be perfect for the base color of the nails. Next, I have this color called Yeah Baby. I don't know why it has an extra M, or maybe that was a typo, but I think it's called Yeah Baby, and it's like a yellow orangey color. And lastly, I have this brown color called Caffeinate It. Madam Glam also sent over a mini UV slash LED light, which is perfect when you're doing designs like this because you're able to cure the nails individually as you're working. So let's get into these nails. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is putting on that base color Dove. I'm only gonna be using one layer of this because I'm gonna be layering so much polish on top of this that if you put more than one layer as your base color, it is going to be way too thick. I actually already did these nails and recorded the video that went to trash, but I ended up putting like two, three layers of the base color because I thought I wanted it to be more opaque, but it ended up being way too thick because of how many layers you're gonna to have to put on in order to get the design. So I promise you one layer works good enough and it also keeps the nail pretty translucent, which I think works really nicely with the design. So I'm going to be using some base coat between every color that I end up putting down and the base coat will just kind of help spread the polish just a little bit but not as much as if you were using a blooming gel. And then I'm going to go in first with the lightest color which is that yellow orangey color called Yeah Baby. I'm just using my dotting tool and I'm putting random blotches and splotches all over the nail making it look really organic. There's no like a form or very specific pattern that I'm following. I'm really just freehanding it and doing whatever I think looks good. Thank you. 
I'm also working on two nails at a time just to make the process faster. So once that first yellowish color is cured, I'm gonna go in with another thin layer of the base coat before I start putting the brown spots on. So with my dotting tool, again, I'm just putting the brown spots on top of the little yellow orange spots that I already have on. I'm also gonna be adding some brown like streaky thingies between the spaces of the dots to kind of fill in and add some more color. And then after curing that, I'm going in with another thin layer of base coat and I'm gonna be applying some black dots and spots all over the nail. I'm gonna be putting this on top of the brown that I just put down. So as you guys can see, I just layered and layered those colors to give it some depth and make it look as realistic as possible. But with the black, since I didn't have a translucent black, I just used a regular like really opaque one. I was very careful with how much I was putting down because the black can definitely overpower the whole design and you just don't wanna ruin it by putting too much black and not letting the lighter colors or the translucence of the nail kind of shine through. So yeah, I just ended up repeating that same process on all of the nails. Like I said, I was doing a 20 piece nail set. So 10 of the nails are gonna be tortoise shell and then 10 of the nails are gonna be the solid color. I really, really love the way that this came out and I'm so happy that I redid this set and refilmed it because the first one that I did was not the greatest and I was, I was proud of it because it was my first time I thought it looked good but now that I did this for a second time, it came out so much better. So So these are what the tortoise shell nails came out looking like. I loved, loved, loved the way that they looked. Also, I do think the shape of the nails matter when you're doing certain nail designs because this looks so much better on like a stiletto or an almond shaped nail versus a square nail. Cause when I did it before it was on square nails and I just think it looks so much nicer on a stiletto shaped nail. And then the solid color I'm gonna be using on the other 10 nails is the color Motherland from the brand Camouflage Polish. It's a really pretty, olive color green. So I ended up doing two coats of this green color and at first I was going to do these nails a nude color but I think this green looked really nicely with like the browns and the colors of the tortoiseshell design. Lastly, I'm gonna be going in with my top coat. I'm gonna be using the non-wipe top coat from Apray. It's just easier and quicker. I love non-wipe top coats just cause you don't have to worry about wiping off that extra sticky layer. When you're done, you're done. And it's just a faster process. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys what these nails look like on me and the pattern I chose to apply them in. I'm just using these little sticky tabs to apply them temporarily, but you can obviously glue these on if you're gonna wear these for a longer period of time. So yeah, I chose three of the tortoise design and then two of the solid green, and I love the way that this looks. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you came here to learn how to do the tortoise shell design, I hope it was helpful. Please let me know if it was. And yeah, make sure you subscribe before you go. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, do not forget to follow my nail Instagram page, Galaxy Nails. I will have it right here on the screen. Also linked down in the description box. So yeah. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you made it this far in the video, leave a little turtle emoji down in the comments so people who didn't make it this far can be confused on why you're commenting a turtle. But it's the closest thing to a tortoise and it's very fitting for this video. But yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. And also let me know if you guys would like to see more nail videos more frequently because I could do that as well but sometimes i feel like people don't like my nail videos as much but i don't know let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time bye